Alright, let's do this. And that sound of a good bush light opening. Best beer on America. Yeah. That's Quentin Marker. Anthony Dishman. And this is Old Tom's Tavern Podcast. And we just went, this is our first episode, <laughs> <laughs> knocking out some kinks right off the get-go. We just did a whole episode and the phone wasn't plugged in, so <laughs> here we are again. I'm going to go over some stuff about turkey season and man we we everything spring and yeah yeah like we now we know what to talk about or what we were talking about yeah. but uh hey it's all part of the <clears throat> journey it's all part of the fun we uh we we're gonna do an audio and i guess one app that i was gonna use is spotify for podcasters it's going away in june so they won't let me do podcasts on audio so we're just gonna do a video and i mean this this is uh we're gonna put this on youtube and then share it to different platforms so it'll work out you'll just have to listen to it on youtube not a podcast, podcast app, app yeah. or whatever but um down the road we're gonna have more people we're gonna have different guests we're gonna have facebook live we're gonna go facebook live on a podcast that way you guys can ask questions we'll give you some answers best we can you know we're not we're not professionals i mean my goodness we're we're in my garage right now like you know but we're just, we're just yeah. two two small town in the yeah boys. like i mean just doing following something that we have a passion about yep yep that's what it's for and we're we're trying to do this for the the guys that are thinking the same thing i was thinking before this all started in my mind was you know the what ifs like man i'd like to do that well i'm telling you right now do it like Let's i do it. 2014 i made that talking deer <clears throat> and it changed i mean it changed my life there's there's no like not saying it didn't like it i went from just being someone i you know working out of hardware to thousands of followers thousands of millions of views like you know now i'm like in a sense like looked at by a lot of people was like this guy is the outdoor like you know when you think of hunting or you think like this like i don't i don't think it's right far as people like looking like if i kill a 115 I'm gonna I, I'm gonna shoot a 115 every year. Like if I if I if it comes under my stand, I'm gonna do it. Like don't don't think that me being well known on Facebook and stuff like that because I hunt mean that I'm going to shoot a giant every yeah, year. You know, like I don't have that, that, that person. Walks through, you're gonna kill it every day. Every day. Every time I go out, that one will <laughs> die. That one died. That they all died. So like <laughs> I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Like. Will I go out and shoot a spike and stuff like that? No, I've I've gotten more mature in that realm. Yeah. But I mean, if you're first time deer hunting, if you're a kid or getting out there, shoot a spike. Like shoot one that comes by. Don't don't sit there and be like, man, I'm gonna get judged on Instagram or I'm gonna be picked at picked on at school. That's <clears throat> that's that's bullshit. Like I I don't. It is, I don't you know, like that. And you get on that, you know, you can go to any Indiana deer hunters page or Kentucky deer hunters. You can go to any one of those and scroll to, you know, a kid that shot his first deer. 50, 60 people are going to say, oh, hey, congratulations. Welcome to the outdoor world. Mm -hmm. You did it. Now move on bigger. Or, you know, yeah. congratulations, this. And then there's going to be those. Two or three guys. Yep. Your dad should have taught you how to manage deer. Yeah, you can't what kill you, young ones. Yeah, why are you shooting that deer? Yeah. Like that, that deer would have been a giant next year. You know what? That deer may have been hit by a Subaru five days after I seen it. Like, I okay. mean, that's the thing. Like, it, you don't, you don't never know. So when you go to the woods and hunt, don't just, don't <clears throat> just automatically think I got to shoot the biggest deer in these woods or else. I'm going to be looked at as a certain way. Like that's the worst, Ted that's Nugent, the worst thing. Ted Nugent said it best. You know, he said, 
it makes you happy, yeah, kill it. Yeah, I know. That's that's the biggest. That's the biggest thing. Like that's why I like turkey hunting so much. You, you, you're not you're not gonna you're not gonna sit there and look at spurs and be like, ah, I'll go let him. Ah, I'll let him go next year. Those no, are only he, three quarters. No, yeah, like <laughs> those are I, only three quarter spurs. We're gonna let him walk this year. It's not, man. And I mean, that's the thing. Like last year, I shot. I shot a buck the day I killed mine. I shot a buck that morning, but it was it was ricocheted off a limb and barely like clipped the top of his back. And I was like, "Dad, going it!" I, I was tore up. I was I was all in my head, and I'm like, "That was the perfect shot. That's probably the last opportunity." And it, I mean, I'm not kidding you. Like it, it wasn't nowhere near as big as this these deer, but it still was like one of them. Like, man, that was a good deer, and that about noon i was looking for blood and i'm like ah, it, it didn't even i didn't even hit the hide i don't think and uh got back up in the stand at 2 30 forgot my release and i hit the horns and at 2 35 i looked back and the buck i shot or i i actually ended up killing was in the ridge behind me and it come down the ridge up the ridge right under my stand and i the old two finger right on him. <laughs> hit him with the old two finger. <laughs> hit him with the old two finger on the Matthews. And I mean, it was probably one of the most memorable deer hunts that I've ever had. And I've had some crazy deer hunts. I mean, well, but that you one, and both your brothers were out in the woods. Yeah, the we were time. all three hunting. Like we've never all three went hunting at the same time. They had dropped me off and they, I texted them and was like, man, I forgot my release. And they were like, sorry about you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, do you want me to turn around? I was like, no, don't worry about it. Like I'll, I'll, if I end up using fingers, I'll end up using fingers, whatever. And then my brother, Jake <clears throat> told him, my brother Colby, he was like, he's gonna, he's gonna Fred bear it. He's gonna <laughs> kill a buck and he's gonna Fred bear that uh, with a finger. And I, I no more got up in the stand and that happened. I texted him and both of them were like, are you? kidding me you know like it it that's that's what makes the memories like right there like it ain't it ain't a giant that you kill or a world record it's it's the memories that you're gonna have forever the pictures we took all three of us took a picture with that buck like i'm waiting to get it european mounted right now and you know it was it was just awesome you know took a picture at you know Trav's grave with it and that yeah. that meant a lot and yeah i'll always i'll always remember that buck you know like it, it was my it goal was to set out yeah to kill that buck you know or to kill a buck <clears throat> and then you know i went out for the first time my dad and i hunted technically public ground i mean i wouldn't call it public we hunted military side of Atterbury. we got drawn this year for a lottery draw and back in there hunting and they had it set up to where if you were going out to the woods you know on saturday you showed up at seven they let you in at eight you got your brief and we were released at you know 9 30 10 o'clock and all these people are driving from the contaminant area out to their areas to hunt and i was like thinking to myself man granted there was three people in our area it was me, my dad, and one other guy. And that guy had picked, he got there before us. He picked where I'd hunted that area all year. Yeah. And I told my dad, I said, if he's not hunting in that spot, I'm going to hunt right here. And my dad's like, well, I'm going to loop down. I'm going to come around this ridge and be on the bottom side. And I said, okay. And that guy ended up getting that spot where I'd hunted all year. Um, I missed a pretty decent eight pointer there with my bow and, and you know we we got back in there at about 11 11 30 and i was like dude we ain't seeing nothing all these people out in the woods i mean there's guys setting up ladder stands in other areas yeah. and you know <clears throat> my dad's you know up in a climber i'm saddle hunting this guy's over in a climber and we learned some stuff that you know you could preset stands and other things and we get up in there and climbing up got my stick set putting my platform down get tethered in and I look over and my dad's probably 
80, 100 yards away. <laughs> he looks over at me and he sends me a text and he says, is that you? Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. I thought you were going farther. And he was like, oh, I thought I walked farther than I did. You know, and he doesn't hunt public ground like that. So, you know, it's <clears throat> one of those things and get up and Doe came in and told him to stay there. And Doe, a young fawn came in and sent him a text. was like, hey, fawn's coming. Just be ready. And took her forever to get over there and got some good footage of her. And then, did. I mean, I think it may have been a late rut. Because yeah, I think the it rut, is, it was I think the rut happened earlier than expected yeah. last year. Um, you know, we that doe came through, that young doe came through and sitting there and I'm like, dude, we ain't gonna see nothing tonight. And I hunted on this field where every night I seen bucks in that out in that field, running does, chasing does, and <clears throat> that's probably about two o'clock. I never believed in the whole well, you got to be in the woods between 11 and 2. Yeah. I never believed it. I never once believed it. I live by it now. No, oh, yeah. This year I'm behind the and Everything. I feel like turkeys, turkeys, deer, like, I mean, I ain't hunted much else, but I feel like 10 and 2 is magical time in the woods. That buck period. came through and shot, missed, shot again, and yeah. ended up killing him. Yeah. You know, my dad was 100 yards away. And, you know, he, like, What's going on? Yeah, you know, that wasn't the the buck that I'd missed, I'd hit, and he lived. I have trail cam pictures of him. And that was the buck I was after. I was like, I, there's no other deer I want. When that buck walked in, I was like, I can't pass. I mean, if I would have passed it, my dad would have killed it. Yeah. You know, and <clears throat> it was going right towards him. And I was like, ah, I yeah. can't pass this. Yeah, thing this is the biggest deer <laughs> in my life. This so. is the biggest deer I've seen. Yeah. And, no kidding. <clears throat> you know, it's laid the hammer down on it. All about the memories, though, you know. It is. Pictures, man. That Pictures. Was, you know. And, you know, like, I got the text, and then I went down there and looked at yeah. it. Like, that that stuff there, that's what that's what it's all about. Like, having your buddies come over and look at it. And, you know, like, depending on, it doesn't even matter how big it is. Like, it, it I killed it, and here it is. And, I mean, that's, that's what hunting's about. All like, about. You know, you could send a text tomorrow or when season comes in, you could send yeah. a text and I'd drop what I was doing. If you told me you shot, you know, the biggest good, time of your life yeah, or the biggest deer in your life and I show up and yeah. it's got two two centimeter spurs on it, I'm be like, hey, that's the, that makes yeah, you happy. The, yeah. We're going to yeah. joke. We're going to laugh about it. And, yep. But, you know, at the end of the day, it, you know, it's what makes you happy. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so then we got a – got. Turkey season coming up. We got uh, youth season for Indiana is April twentieth and twenty first. Gonna take a couple kiddos out. Yeah. Try to get them some birds. Get them get them outdoors. Really, I mean that's the thing. Like get kids outdoors, and that it it kind of starts in turkey hunting. I feel like like or early bow. Like get don't don't take them out there. Even even older older kids like. Teenagers. You can, yeah, you can ruin, you could ruin somebody's hunting experience if you take them and it's A, a terrible hunt, oh, yeah. and then B, cold as all get out. And they're like, no, man. I mean, especially nowadays, the kids nowadays, like, I mean, video games, phones, Xbox, Twitch, streaming, all this stuff. It's easy to stay inside, it is. and so so it's like one of them things. Like, don't don't take somebody that's never been outdoors. Take them hunting in twenty one degree weather. Uh, take and them out duck hunting with some waders, waders in the waters, yeah, freeze, freeze. yeah, break the ice, break the ice. <laughs> like, I mean, stuff like that. Like, yeah, if they get into it and they like enjoy it, then cool, cool. But I'm yeah. telling you, like turkey hunting in early bow season, that's when that's when you take them out and. You, you they'll Squirrels. have a great time. Yeah, squirrel hunting, like they'll have a great time. It's it's decent weather for the most part. I've been turkey hunting and killed a turkey with it snowing, but uh, it's yeah. still it's still that time of year where it's kinda like End fires everybody out. Up. And that and fishing's a huge, huge thing now for kids. Oh, like, yeah. you know, in school, college, like man, I would I'd be a <laughs> I'd be a D one athlete right now if I had 
if I had I college fishing, jacket. yeah, if I had college fishing and high school fishing when I was in school. That's the man. thing is, I think, what was that, a few years? Uh, I graduated 2012, 2013. Yeah. 2013, and Austin graduated 2014. Mm -hmm. And I think it was another year after he graduated, Brown County got the fishing program. I know. You know, Jeff Mullins. And yeah. Austin, or, uh, Kyle Hemiger and them, they you know they yeah. they started that stuff up. And Shout out to the <clears throat> the goat, the goats right there. And you know, looking back, you know, all of us say all the time, I, I would have been a great A I student. Man, I would have. Who knows? You mean to what tell I'm, me I get to go? Yeah. You know, you know, wrestling was wrestling was the time of my life. Austin, you know, Austin Ely got me in wrestling. Austin Owen, they got me into football. Yeah. You know, those were the times of my life. But like looking back on it, like. Mean to tell me I don't have to go to summer practice? You could have been and, fishing. I yeah. could have been practicing, you know, my bait cast flips or yeah, you know, hey, yeah. fish are bedding, fish aren't bedding. But throw this bait, throw that bait. Yeah, you know, I could have been doing that instead of running, you know, helling back. <laughs> Coach Winling. <laughs> yeah, Burn, burning, burning weight down to a certain weight. Yeah, I'm not getting I choked don't... out by head wall you know? Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> No kidding, but yeah, turkey season, man. We got youth season. Hopefully, get some birds. You got a first time bird this year. Hopefully, yeah. we're we're gonna try to get you on a first your first bird this year. We got we got a trip up to Michigan. Hopefully, hopefully, tag out there, do a little you know four hour five hour drive. I got. You know, little Trav coming in June, first of June, yeah. end of May. So turkey hunting about to May, first of May, and then that's it. Like we're done. Like we got chalk it up for the year. Like got dad responsibilities, you know, and dad husband responsibilities. Yeah, and, that. Yeah. No, I mean can't be turkey hunting and she goes into labor. That'd yeah. be a <laughs> final <anymore>. destination. <laughs> but uh, yeah. And I'm I'm excited. Like it's finally be getting, fun. you know, it's that time of the year. Like, I, you know, I think a a big thing is is that that lull from you know everybody always says that lull in that October lull for those deer. They don't mm -hmm. get up. They don't move. You know, people kill them. People don't. Yeah. You know, I've seen a lot of does in October. Everybody says that October lull. I think for for humans that love the outdoors. It's that time after deer season. Duck season's ended. Goose is done. February, you know, it's that time from February until turkey, turkey season kicks off, and you ain't got nothing. You love being outdoors. It's, it's gloomy. Yeah. It's cold. You yeah. don't want to be outside. That's kind of like the whole purpose of this. Is yeah. like we can kind of keep that like talking about stories from like either <clears throat> last year or you coming know deer season year. coming into this year. That's the whole purpose of having a podcast. I, in my opinion, like is we can we can continue that like fuel yeah. like because i'm telling you from like february to to turkey turkey it's it's a it is a i'm not gonna say terrible time but it, it's <laughs> just like you have these seasons and you're like go let's deer hunt let's turkey hunt let's do this that and then all of a sudden it's like no football there's no nothing and you're like what what have I been doing? What do I do? There's, without... there's hockey, you know. You yeah. got hockey. Yeah, watch. I got hockey. Unless they're fighting, no, I ain't watching hockey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's UFC, I guess. But yeah, but yeah, being an outdoorsman, that is a that is a uh, that's depression setting in type yep. of period, and that's what I feel like is fun about this podcast is we can tell we can be in that February to April, uh, whatever you call it, lull and actually have stories to tell and stuff cuz I got plenty. I'm not I'm not yeah. I'm not going to throw all my stories out in one all. episode. All like right. they're podcast is over with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's Yep. I think we got some we got some frog gigging stories. We uh, got a we got a froggy. couple. Yeah. We got a couple uh, <laughs> incidents that I've been put Run myself into. in. <laughs> well, you but, know, I I think now <laughs> the prime time it's finally warming up. Yeah. Get mushroom season. Mushroom Get season. Some mushrooms. You know, if you do land management, we just planted food plots last mm -hmm. weekend. Get or last week getting those put in. Um, you know, get, getting prepped. Like, getting really, prepped. For, yeah. You know, 
turkeys, mm -hmm. deer, whatever. This year will be a little, little non-prep for me <laughs> just because the, the boy's coming. But, yeah, I mean, normally it starts, like, the 1st of April, it's go time. It's been, yeah. like, you know, trail cameras and stuff like that, which I've, in my opinion, <clears throat> I've, I've not really put out trail cameras much in my life just because I like the factor of, like, not knowing – What's, what's there, there and then all of a sudden like the one cold front that comes through i'm seeing a i'm seeing a nice buck and yeah. i'm like whoa didn't know that was here you know that's that, <clears throat> that's kind of yeah how i go about it some guys want to see what's there so they don't waste their time but that's public all, land that's all that's the whole purpose of me going hunting is the unknown and the the peacefulness of just sitting and i might not see a deer but it you know read the bible and just Connect. sit back and yeah just that's that's true enjoy na enjoy nature like that's true might not see one deer and i'll come out of the woods with a smile just because it's nice to get away from the everyday news and politics and all oh, that yeah. all that mumbo jumbo <clears throat> getting getting away from that and you know i'll, I'll run truck cameras um public land yeah in public I'll, i can see a little them. more maybe i mean if they let you see yeah I'll, I'll see what i you know what's out there what's moving around um i got a set of cell cams now and put them out at mom and dad's this year and you know there's one pretty decent buck running around there and shot at him on opening weekend missed him and <laughs> yeah you have he's that. he stuck around though you know he made it through the season um luckily and hopefully you know this year he's gonna drop something and we got the food plots in early get them get them some good minerals and stuff and mm -hmm. you know <clears throat> a deer you know i don't hunt it parents much you know but yeah it, it if it comes you know hopefully dad can take him or you know yeah and then a lot of people like i've noticed like if they get around that rut period or even like right before rut and the halloween time pre-rut and stuff i hear a lot of people like oh it's still hot out that deer right there was 82 degrees and he was he was doing a scrape and was walking right to me i mean he was he was searching and i'm like i was in we were in no shirts dragging him out and we were actually me and austin were texting each other like hey you want to go fishing uh -huh. and i looked to my right and here he came and i was like no. It does not stop them deer. No. 82 degrees, 90 something degrees. It's <clears throat> it's more of like, do you want to be out there or not? Like, it ain't, it ain't like, it? yeah, do you want to? And, and I think it's the same way it? turkeys, deer, squirrels, <clears throat> you know, they're on a different, we're on a 24 hour time clock. <clears throat> yeah. We know, hey, when we, when we wake up tomorrow, tomorrow is, you know, April 1st. Yeah. We know, we know that. But <clears throat> these animals, they're they they don't know how to read clocks. No. They, they know, you know. They know in November, I'm getting some tail. They know, like, they know. <laughs> that's all I got. Yeah, that's all I got. I get one time, <laughs> yeah. you know, one month a year. One like, month I'm, I'm going to go do it. Yeah. And, you know, these turkeys are the same way. End of March. <laughs> till, till middle May, of May. Yeah. Dirt, you know, I get this month and a half mm -hmm. of free time yeah i'm gonna i'm going after strut my strut yeah. and i'm gonna go after them yeah and, you know animals, come here henrietta <laughs> animals are just different than us and it's you know it's everybody says oh i'm, I'm not hunting or i'm you know the fish aren't biting because the water's 80 degrees or fish deeper <laughs> fish deeper <laughs> you know go out and fit like like yeah i'm not gonna go out and hike today because it's 100 degrees yeah you can go out and do it it's all about limiting your excuses like oh. i mean it, it's it's what it boils down to like i could have just as easy on 82 degree day not went hunting but got in the kayak and went it, fishing yeah, yeah i i i chose like you know what there's been days i'm telling you right now the older you get you'll have so many of these days where you're sitting you're laying in bed and the wind might be 10 mile an hour 12 and it's 20 something degrees but it's the first cold front of the year and you're in bed and you're like nah, i'm oh, gonna yeah. go to sleep yeah, i'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to bed. and then i'm telling you you will wake up at whatever time Bad you get thing up. about cell cameras yeah. you will you will yeah i don't have cell cameras yeah. but i've woke up at 8 30 or 9 o'clock and and 
it is just absolutely picture perfect outside. Oh, yeah. And I'm thinking, boy, this Today was, was the this day. was the morning, <laughs> and I slept in. I oh, was yeah. I was I was being a freaking crybaby. And I'm telling you, it, it, more days than not, you'll do that because you just I don't know. It's just there's been days, and I I've I've been you know I've seen it time and time again. I'm like and. It's kind of deteriorated. Like when I was a kid, everybody I knew, my uncles, my cousins, we all got together like the day before opening day of shotgun. We always had a party or, you know, like got yeah. together, campfire, and we were all going out. And as time went on, people had kids. And it was just like one of the things like, why am I going out and sitting in the cold? I was like, well, for me now, I'm a dad. I'm an uncle. I want to be that person for them Them, you know i want to be that like they look up and like man dad dad or uncle q is they're they're still getting after it like they They still have the fire yeah they still have the fire (laughs) that they had when they were a kid and i still to this day like the day before opening day of shotgun is a is a holiday for me like i really like it's it's straight up i can't think of anything that's better really other than like the day before opening day of turkey season but that's on a Tuesday. It's kind of hard to get everybody together, but you right. know, we're meeting like, up on Tuesday. Yeah. Taco Tuesday turned up hmm. Mexican restaurant. Like it's just one of them things. Like, you know, if you have a core group of buddies, friends, like I'm here to tell you, like get them together and have that o- night before opening day of shotgun hat. Like, you know, people are like, well, I can't make it because of this. Like, I'm pretty sure if you look back and you, you know, you, you lose someone that's close to you, you're going to wish, you're going to wish like, man, I, it was just one night, you know, like one night, let's, let's get everybody together and it take pictures. Like, I mean, it's, it's, I'm the biggest and people will tell you, like, I'm the biggest at saving like stuff on Snapchat or, or pictures. Like I'll, you'll see me doing a Snapchat we might not even see a deer or see a turkey but i'm going to snapchat or or film a hunt just for the sa- well, I, simple fact i can look back at it and be like man remember this day like, man, that was man. last year you know we went over there that private you got and you and i before travis showing and mm-hmm. <clears throat> didn't see a single deer i didn't see well we saw some after we got down and yeah uh, you know, but it was just I saw five bobcats. Yeah, you know, just running through the woods. First but time knew, like in person. Yeah, I so, knew we needed to be out in the woods though. You know, yeah, like it was just, just the chance there. It may have just magically just something, something happened. May have but happened. It was one of the nicest mornings yep. last year. Like got it was, up, got out. Sun there. was just perfect. But and, yeah, you know, turkey season's the same way. Just you know, may wake up and. If you wake up late, you it know, doesn't matter. Yeah, it matter. doesn't matter. That doesn't even matter. Deer hunt, deer hunt, either. No, I mean, get out you there. can get out there anytime. I've had them They're from eight to dark. I've had them at any hour. They may not gobble. They may not do this. You know, get out there. It's getting out there. Like <laughs> get out there, getting after them. Hey, this yeah. call's not uh, yelping's not working. I'm gonna bust over to the next yeah. ridge. Hit the I'm box set up, call. Set up some fucking decoys and. Yeah, I'm gonna run with it, and you know, hit the box call. Yeah, hit the slate. Gobble, gobble yeah. with a box call. A lot of people are like, don't even think about that, or they'll get that gobble call. I the personally shade. put, yeah, the put the snoot or whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Put put a rubber band on your box call and hit that thing. And I'm telling you, it's had, the last three years. It is it has struck a gobble and it has brung them in to see what other gobblers in the area like I, it's it's to me i mean i'm just telling you from my point of view what's worked for me i'm not telling you to go do it like don't take it that way like you know like so put in your in your duffel bag you know? yeah it's Pull just it, it just it's just one of them things that uh-uh. is is there and you don't think about it you think of a box call as calling in a you know ow, 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 but really you can gobble with that thing and it sounds it sounds really good like I'm pretty sure I got one here in my in the old banded in me old banded. I got this banded air elite turkey Things vest. Got cushion on it. Pockets, the the pockets best. For and days. I'm I'm not you. 
I have another turkey vest and I'll, I would wear it just as soon as I would anything else. I'm not saying go get this turkey vest here, but it is amazing. It's probably the best turkey call, turkey vest that I've ever bought and I can't there wait to use time. it. But yeah, and this is just the, it's just the, it's a hookup, the hookup call from Primos, but this, it don't have a rubber band, so it might not be as good, but you can, like, you can literally just do, and I mean, it sounds, it, it sounds legit, just. You gotta hit it just right. Without a rubber band, it's kind of. And I mean, dude, I I I hammered like three uh -huh. birds in the last three years with that thing. Just do a call, you know, Were you hit yelping it. before, yeah, clucking like hit before, it. and then and then do that, and then hit them with the gobble, and they will they will hammer. I've not not had them hammer off to that. off that and. It's just something that I work, you know, works for me. It may not work for you, and I'm not gonna say it. it may not work, work for you, your turkey in Kansas. But yeah, it, but it, for me, it's Southern it's, Indiana. It's it killed it. One and I, Joey Holt, I, you know, a buddy of mine. He he worked with me for a couple of years. I t I've taken him twice now, and we've got we've got birds both times. And I used that thing last year, and we didn't even we didn't even it wasn't five minutes in. Us leaving the car, boom, hammered, and I'm like, wow, no, it's impressive. <clears throat> and, and you know, he says five minutes. Don't think like you're gonna go out there and kill one in five minutes. No, it, no, it's not a TV show. Yeah. It's just right you still, spot, right time. A lot of times you have to work for it. Like, <laughs> but you know, how many times you've been running over ridges and yeah, hey, that that turkey got you know the faintest gobble you hear. Yeah, way over there. And it's it's on another property line, and you're on yeah. the property line, and you're sitting there, and you're yelping, you're clucking, you're you're trying gobbling. to get him to come, you know, get him come closer, get him come closer. You just want to see him, and or you know, pull out, and you're like, well, maybe let's go out. Yeah, for sometimes sometimes there. backing up, like like <sighs> if you're trying to get to a turkey and he's not coming, back up, back up so many yards, and then call. Act like you're going away. That a lot of times that'll pull them. That'll pull, that'll pull them, in. them in because they're like, oh, they're not coming to me now. They're going away. Here we go. But yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm fired up. I'm fired up about this season. I think I've I've been seeing a lot of toms. I think there's there's quite a bit out there. There's a lot of jakes too. A lot of they jakes. Had a, a lot of jakes was hatched. And you know, I think uh, I think a big thing is too is you know. I may be wrong, but this thermal imaging, a lot of guys are out coyote hunting, predator yeah. hunting. You know, them coyotes, you know, yeah. them, them hens start laying eggs. Yep. Now them, we them got coyotes. a bobcat season coming. Well, yeah, we're going to have bobcat season coming. That'll help. T I, <clears throat> people are like, oh, and turkeys, and turkeys. It's going to help the turkey hunting out a lot. And, like, I'm telling you. I mean, it's crazy, like, to think about, you know, whatever – they reintroduced these bobcats to limit population of the deer, and, you know, help them help the deer population, the deer herd in Indiana. And, mm -hmm. You know, wow, we released these bobcats and, you know, they're fixed. They can't reproduce. Well, that's fine. But, you know, research of bobcats, what do they do? They follow, they follow the big river lines. Mm -hmm. Bobcats were native in, in Kentucky and, they travel up, you know, close to the Ohio River. And they hit another route, and now there's a fertile one in Indiana, and they're mm -hmm. like feral cats. Yeah, coyotes the same way. And yeah, yeah. Everything else, you know, they, they you can't smell like you know as humans. Mm -hmm. They say like males, you know, male humans are when they're around females that are, you know, attractive. You could smell it, or mm -hmm. you could do what you know. I don't know, but all I know is like animals go off of that stuff. You you put something down, doe asterisk or whatever. Mm -hmm. May not be a giant coming in. A small buck may yeah, come that, in. Yeah. It it piques her it piques her interest of what's in the area or, you know, 
turkeys don't do that, so you can't do that with turkey. Mm-hmm. You're if not turkey, get turkey if, urine. If, if if turkeys can smell, there would, there oh, ain't yeah. a soul out there that would be able to kill a turkey <clears> because <throat> people don't really understand un, understand. Turkeys can see. Turkeys can see and they can hear. People don't. They're yep. underrated far as hearing. People don't really like appreciate give them the respect of hearing. You can literally just like like. Like the the faintest little late call box call, they will hear it like 150, 200 yards away. Like la- the birds last year, I barely struck my slate call and they heard it, and I know they were 200 yards away. If they could smell, there there would be you no would hunter possible <laughs> yeah. would get would be able to kill it. It'd be like, impossible. But just to eat, it would be the you know deer. It'd yeah. be like deer, right spot, right time. That turkey just you had. Wind and you know turkeys. You play the wind. You don't play the wind. Yeah, you know deer. You have you know you kind of have to play the wind with deer. Yeah. They'll smell you. Mm-hmm. Turkeys, you know. Yeah, turkeys is just sight. Like I mean, I've I've moved my eyes before, and turkeys have seen me. I mean, they it get, they get pretty close. But if you move, you move anything, <clears throat> it's it's game over. And that's that's kind of hard taking younger kids turkey hunting because they don't understand the concept but like when i say don't move don't move that means don't move <laughs> you know like you can be I, i've even had grown adults like i'm sitting there and i'm like hey whatever you do i'm telling you right now do not move i've you know you it's your first time i know what these turkeys do and i'll be sitting there and i'll see the turkey out of the corner of my eye and all of a sudden, I see a, the gun move, and then the good turkey's gone. And I'm like, I, I don't know how much I got to stress to you. <laughs> like, do not move when these birds come in because, a, they do see the decoy, but it, you know, they're still on alert. Like it's, it's a you big. Know, that's what, the big thing is is like with turkeys, you know, everybody's like, oh, they can only see side to side because their eyes are on the side of their head. Nah. They're like deer. Deer, they're on the side of the deer head. Yeah. You know, they they, they can move. They, yeah. They turkeys constantly. If you see a turkey, a turkey's constantly like and it, it catches a glimpse and it's gone. gone. Yeah. They can, they can see red, white, and blue too. Turkeys can. Because that turkey was going to be the national bird before the eagle. And they, uh, I don't know what happened as far as that, that goes. But yeah, it, it can see red, white, and blue. So they were like, there's more turkeys than eagles. Mm-hmm. But the uh yeah. I think we're uh we're about we're about to our end on the first episode. Trying to make these, you know, not super long, just depends on what kind of topic, but this is our first episode. We're just kinda easing into it, you know, getting our getting our grasp, you know. We just did like a forty check minute in, check in forty equipment. minute yeah, forty minute video yeah. just a minute ago and it was <laughs> The phone was unplugged. Our mics weren't on. We just rushed into it a little too fast. But yeah, if I'm a, if there's anything I was gonna say, like say is like kids getting into this or first time hunters, turkey hunting especially. If you can't get, if you can't get a mouth call down, don't don't think that just because your buddies have it down that you you're just this terrible turkey hunter or terrible like you're not gonna amount to anything get a slate call get a box call it's simple it's just easy you'll call turkeys in they don't you don't have to just practice practice during the summer with a mouth call i that's what i did you know put your mouth call in get the tickling out Mm -hmm. of your mouth and you'll be fine don't think you gotta just hurry up and like oh this this sounds terrible so i'm not even gonna go turkey hunting this year like that's i think the uh, worst mistake you can make i don't know who makes i got one at the house it's got cover over the slate too and it you buy it at walmart it's like yeah has the whole 16 bucks yeah has the holes it'll tell you like yelp cluck yeah you know it'll tell you on there like you know how to do it it has directions on the cover too like if you're young or old or you just want to get into turkey hunting yeah like it's there you know it's the same thing like you know deer hunting you see these guys bust out these grunt calls and they bust out these grunt calls and you're like dang my grunt call doesn't sound like that well 
grunt calls all are different. It's yeah. all about your vocals, your diaphragm, everything else. Like, yeah, mouth calls. Deer might not be res- receptive to uh, a grunt. grunt call. Period. Yeah, you might have to hit the horns. Oh, but, yeah. And if you don't do that, there's snort wheeze. That I mean, it just yeah. it doesn't matter. Like yeah. I mean, if it's your, I've I've firmly been a believer of if it's your time, it's your time. That buck come up by you, it was your time to kill it. Like, time to kill it. I mean, it was that you're, deer's time to kill it yeah know? i was watching uh forget who it was he's a he does rate like the boha races mm-hmm. he's friends with lee from seek one i was watching one of his videos and <clears throat> he said it a hundred times in that video he said when it's that deer's time to die it's that deer's time to die like he's yeah. gonna mess up at some point just mm-hmm. Same yeah. with turkey. Same it with, is. I mean, squirrels I, may be a little know, bit different. I was but. talking to Dustin Huff, and you know, he's just like one of us. He goes out and goes to kill these deer, just like us. He's not going out to kill a giant. Yeah. And it was his time that day that he killed, you know, the 211. Like, I mean, the it, Huff it's buck. the Huff Buck. Like, and that's a it's, spectacular deer. That deer is <laughs> impressive. I That is the first deer I've ever in my life just walked up next to and been like, that is the picture. You know, like, that no is drop exact, tons? Yeah. No nothing. Typical, Typical just giant. Like, deer. there was a whole wall of deer behind me. Oh, yeah. And I looked at them, and I looked at that deer, and you're like, <laughs> freaking louisville sluggers as times like i mean it's impressive so if you ever get a chance to see that deer in person do it it's worth it because oh, yeah. it's 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 magnificent and you know too also you know getting younger kids out or whoever if you have any questions like i mean yeah don't don't up, afraid like, to ask that's that's hit us thing. up you know that, yeah you, dm me dm him like you know anybody like ask yeah. questions that's the biggest thing you get you get so many i say kids i i keep referring to kids it's anybody it's anybody yeah, that it's wants anybody. to hunt get into yeah. hunting like just reach out to somebody talk to somebody don't don't hide don't hide it like you don't want to be that person that because I, I was that person i'm like <clears throat> how's this muzzleloader work i mean that i'll be the first one to tell you i had a 1985 scottsdale and I was, that was my first time driving, first time truck, first time anything. And for like the two or three months I had it, I was like checking the transmission fluid, thinking it was the oil. I'm like, because my dad was like, hey, make sure you check that oil because that thing burns oil. I'm like, well, she's full of the whole, you know, all three months. I was like, well, this, this thing don't burn oil. Boom, rod blew out, leaving work one day. And I'm like, Dad's like, you've been checking them oil? I'm like, yeah, I have been every day. And I Which was like, there's, I was like, that, that dipstick right there. And he's like, no, no, it's not the right dipstick. Oh, oh I mean, I, I'll tell him myself, mind. like, I'm, I'm not embarrassed. Like, it, it's one of them things, like, you got to ask questions. And that's how you progress in everything. Like, don't think, <clears> like, I got to, I got to put on this persona everything. Yeah. to to somebody that I, i'll be the first one to like i don't care like uh, i don't care at all i'll tell you right now austin i'll i'll text austin hey dude you, you ever hit a snort wheeze yeah hey, like te- i texted him when i was on atterbury last year before mm-hmm. before i killed that buck i i couldn't get deer to come in whatsoever you ever hit a snort wheeze he's like yeah he's like mm. He's like, you know, I pet them. He's like, sometimes, you know, if they're reactive. They're, yeah, they are. Sometimes, I mean, <clears> the <throat> right deer. The right deer might come in. He's like, dude, just, he's like, when I asked him, I was like, do you ever blind grunt? Mm-hmm. He's like, all the time, blind yeah. rattle. He's like, I do. He's like, yeah, I do it in like increments, yeah, like, he's you like, know, 30 minutes. If they come in, it. they come in. If they yeah. don't, they don't. He's like, it, it just depends on the animal. Yeah. You may yelp, you may cluck on a turkey, nothing may respond. It may be coming in. Yeah, they don't know. silent. Yeah, a lot of times they're silent. I mean, not a lot of times, but they're they're silent. They will they will gobble <laughs> once or twice, and then they might not gobble it's the rest done. of the time. Yeah, you better sit still because they're coming. The worst thing you can do is get up and leave. If you heard a turkey gobbling, brother, you better <laughs> like, Just you better sit, sit still, <laughs> and it will happen. I'm telling the storms you, be coming. have patience. I sat from twelve thirty to six thirty one day. And I killed a gobbler at 6.30. Jake's went past me, messed up my decoy, had to crawl out, put it back on the stick, crawl back, sit there for another three hours, 
and they brought a gobbler back with them and he went right to my decoy and I shot him. So, but yeah, we're, uh, we're going to wrap this up and we will get some kinks figured out and then we'll be back with episode two and hopefully, um, we'll have some guests and we'll get into some stories and some more tips and tricks and whatever you have it, you know, just us being us really us being us this is what we do on a daily anyway yeah yeah so signing out